Thank you for joining me today. I am going to do an unboxing for our KiwiCo one year subscriptions. We have three subscriptions or had three subscriptions with KiwiCo for the Yummy Crate, the Atlas Crate, and the Eureka Crate. Um, we got all 12 months of the subscription and I realized we had never actually opened any of the boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unbox all of these. Um, you can see previous unboxings. I will put a link in the cards and one in the descriptions for uh, specifically the KiwiCo unboxing playlist. Um, and we will get started. I always like doing things in alphabetical order, so we're gonna start with Atlas crate. So first up, we're going to go ahead and open the Atlas crate. This is for Greece. It is for ages six and up. And in this, we are going to build a Trojan horse, craft a spinning collage of Santorini and explore Greece. And let me grab some scissors. this before but maybe I just looked at the description. <laughs> so we have our little um, like envelope. Yeah I know that I, I, I think I ordered this separately um, in a different kit. So I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put this to the side here so you can kind of see what's in it but I really want to just focus on these real quick. So this is uh, instructions for make your own Santorini collage, create a spinning mosaic scene. And it gives you a little information, tells you what you get in the box. And then on the back, it gives you some did you know um, information. And then we have all of the instructions. So for this, it looks like we need these two pieces. Um, there are small pieces of, what is this? I think it's crepe paper. So you've got the daytime sky, the sunset sky, and the land. Uh, you have, this is like foam sticker sheets to make the buildings. I'm gonna look at what else we need. What is this? Okay, so we've got a handle, a tray for the glue, a paintbrush, a glue, it's just kind of basic white glue, a marker, um, the brad is in the bag here, and yeah, and then from home you would need scissors and scrap paper to put all of this together, so that's pretty cool. And then there's also a make your own Trojan horse a legendary gift with a secret trick. Hide your treasures under the trap door. That could be kind of fun. So this is a bigger um, unfoldable. So you've got a little bit of information here about the Trojan horse. Um, and then your did you know facts. Um, setting the trap door and ways to play. And then this is the beginning of the directions and then all of the other directions. So what you'll need is, looks like we give us two bags of items. So you get all of the plywood pieces in this bag, and then this is like some foam pieces, um, little, looks like plastic or rubber washers another foam sticker piece, and then some, these are also foam sticker pieces. And that's it for that. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna put all of this back and then we will get into the rest of what we get in just one second. Okay. So something that is not in this box, um, while I'm recording this, we are currently in Arizona visiting my grandmother. 
and with this atlas crate there should have been an extra book i did pay extra for that it's called greek myths three heroic tales and i have a feeling that when my kids opened these boxes um they may have taken the book out and it either got put in with our other homeschool stuff that came with us or it's at home still so i do apologize Hopefully I will find it and I'll be able to add that in at the end of this particular part of the video, but if not, I will uh, link pictures later. Um, so here we have our little kind of package, I guess, <laughs> um, kind of like a letter. I don't know how to pronounce any of this, but it apparently means hello, um, and this is hello in the Greek alphabet. So if you have watched me open these before, you know that I tend to drop all the pieces on the floor, so I like to or open it on a flat surface. Now oh, that didn't want to open. Okay, so it says discover Greece, and we have our word find, and then we've got some information here. We have our little Greece sticker. And then it says things to do in this crate, explore Greece with Anya and Milo, craft a collage of Santori Island, whip up some tasty, is it Zat Zatsky? I'm not sure. Get pumped for the Olympics, make black figure pottery, discover the Acropolis of Athens and build a miniature Trojan horse. Um, I actually have a friend whose husband was stationed in Greece and they would get to go visit him and she would tell me about all of the great food that she would eat there and, and the fun things they did but um, she did say that they had some great food. So it gives you a little bit of information about Greece. I don't know. I'll have to ask her where she was um, because I don't remember. <laughs> I know she told me. Uh, so then we've got more facts about Greece, um, and then we have our travel journal from Anya and Milo. It's got some Greek words here. Uh, they've got their day one, day two, three, and four. It talks about the Olympics. Um, more information here. The Acropolis. More information about that. Black figure pottery. Oh, no paint went into the making of this ancient black figure base. Only clay. That's pretty cool. Um, and then it does tell you how to do that. So that's neat. Um, and then I'm not going to try to pronounce that again. Oh. Dzadziki? I feel like I should know how to say this. I feel like my friend told me how to say it and I can't think of it. Um, so, yogurt cucumber sauce. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. And then we've got the recipe there. So fun stuff. And I'm going to close this up. Whenever I close these up, I have been trying to leave the sticker at the bottom of the pile of papers because that way it doesn't try to sneak out when I am not looking. <laughs> okay. So that is our Atlas Crate for. Greece. And I know that I have talked about pricing before. I really think that I talk about pricing in the video that I do nine boxes. So it was our first official package of subscription boxes. I did do a price breakdown um, for that. Uh, so that's in there. You do get a better deal when you order, um, 
the reoccurring subscriptions and also if you um, do longer subscriptions. So like the 12 month subscription works out less per month than getting the month to month. So that is Greece. All right, the next box in, or yeah, the next box we're going to open is our Eureka Crate. Um, they've changed these boxes over the years. So this is what they used to look like. They had this kind of paper wrap around them. Uh, now more current boxes, I don't think have that, but maybe it depends on the box. I don't know. But this is going to be the electric pencil sharpener ages 14 and up and you learn about electric circuits and engineering um so yeah let's go ahead and open this up if i can right, we're just going to the... oh good golly miss molly i'm trying to do this without getting a paper cut Okay. So we have our instructions. Oh, it comes with pencils. I'm assuming that they're these green pencils. Maybe they're different colors. It looks like they say Eureka Crate, at least in the picture. My oldest daughter who's the one that does all these Eureka crates. She loves drawing and she's very excited to get this. So it does come with four pencils, uh, white, kind of a, well, it's green, black, and gray. Does it say if they're number two pencils? It doesn't say if they're number two pencils. They're just KiwiCo pencils. So I don't know, there's that. Uh, and then we have, I'm assuming this is the cup for catching the shreds. Let's open on both sides. Here we have some zip ties, some batteries, um, the battery holder, and looks like the on and off switch. Some of the particle board pieces, more pieces. This is this is the lid part with the actual like grinder sharpener whatever <laughs> um you can't really see i don't know if you can see this these are perforated but these are foam stickers um not really sure what we use foam stickers for but we'll see oh and this is cute they give you a little journal um eureka i have found it archimedes so it's I don't know if you can see those. They're very pale uh, dots. And on some of the pages, it looks like it has different quotes. So nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so that we may fear less. Mary Curie. Marie Curie. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Thomas Edison. I've heard that before. I'm not going to read all of the quotes. It doesn't appear that they're on every page. They're just on every few pages or some sticky on there. So that's really cute that they give you the pencils um, and the little notepad. Not that my kid is lacking for notepads. <laughs> She has notepads and journals and all sorts of things. So we're going to go ahead and put that to the side. So it's a maker's guide for our electronic pencil sharpener. And here we have a little did you know information. We have a copy of the patent. It was patented on October 1st in 1918. That's pretty cool. Um, but that's a patent for the uh, hand crank pencil sharpener. I am old enough that I remember having these in classrooms. I don't know if they still have them in classrooms or not. So that gives you here a list of all of your materials. And I like how they break this down. So we've got a build section and then an information, another build section, um, 
what's that stuff they're talking about pencil lead this first one look inside was limit switch um, I'm very familiar with limit switches working in HVAC <laughs> there is your bigger build section behind the scenes the electric pencil sharpener the science switches and circuits history pencil sharpeners five things about the pencil and design challenge um, those are always cool the design challenges because it really gives the kids more ideas so you've got how to build the base Uh, your limit switch, There's limit switches and a lot of different types of mechanical things. Um, when I worked for my dad for his HVAC company, he was constantly replacing limit switches. <laughs> this talks about pencil lead. The dark stuff your pencil writes with is a material called graphite. So why is it called lead? Turn to page 32 to find out. We, we will do that. So it gives you information about um, pencil lead, AKA graphite. And then you get back into the build, adding the battery, wiring it up, how to use the sharpener, how to empty the shavings. That's always important. Troubleshooting, um, all that good stuff. Then you've got uh, behind the design for the electric pencil sharpener it talks about just different different aspects Switches and circuits She's actually really good with all of the ones that have switches and circuits and wires and gears and gizmos and all that stuff um, Pencil sharpener the history of design pencil sharpeners A lot of cool stuff in here. This is another pencil sharpener patent from November 23rd, 1897. Um, so that's cool. And then the invention of the pencil, it brings you around. And then the design challenge notebook and pencil. Get inspired, draw your favorite idea. Don't worry if it's not pretty, notebooks are meant to be messy. Right on. Oh, and a bonus challenge to take your shavings and create additional art. That's fun. <laughs> so yeah, that is our Kiwi Co. Eureka Crate. This is for ages 14 and up. Uh, they used to put all kinds of different information on the boxes. They've kind of changed over the years. Um, but yeah, that is, just got a hair there. That is our Eureka Crate and we'll move on to our final crate, which is our Yummy Crate. All right, and the final crate in this subscription box that we get is the yummy crate this is for ages six and up and this particular box is called rise and shine fluffy pancakes and more food to flip for and i did just cut that tape before i turned on my camera so that i didn't have to stop and pause so this is fun okay so this is our little kind of information packet and we've got this bottle and it looks like some sticky felt face pieces and a bean bag. I'm so confused. I'm going to move this to the side just a bit and we'll get back to that. I want to see what this is all about. So rise and shine, fluffy pancakes and more food to flip for. Let's get cooking. Okay. So here we have what's in the crate. Find out how to lighten up with leaveners. I think that's right. Leaveners? Leaveners? Make a pile of fluffy pancakes. Cook up sweet strawberry syrup. That sounds good. Fold fabulous flat pancakes. Test the power of baking powder. Master the skills of flipping flapjacks and stencil picture perfect pancakes. And then we have uh, this here, which is our little sticker. Flip, flip, hooray with a stack of pancakes. I wonder if the folding 
flat pancakes is um, kind of like a crepe. I made crepes once when I was a teenager. Um, I actually didn't do a bad job. <laughs> so it says, dear grown up sous chef. And then it just gives the parent or guardian um, kind of an overview of what you're gonna be doing in the box. And then it does say that these pieces in the box are hand wash only. And we will look at those in a minute, but it looks like it's like a sifter. And then we've got some stencils. And then here it gives our ingredients lists. With the Yummy Crate, they do not include any food, any, any groceries. So you do have to either go buy them or you know dig into your pantry. Um, flour, sugar, powdered sugar, baking powder, vanilla extract, salt, vegetable oil, milk, eggs. I have all of those in my kitchen. I even have them now while we're in Arizona in my grandmother's kitchen. Um, I don't have a lemon here, but strangely enough, I have a lemon at home. Uh, so for this, I'd have to go get a lemon. Um, I do have frozen strawberries right now, so we might make that strawberry syrup. I really think my grandma would like that. So yeah, lots of fun stuff there. And then they do give you suggested ingredient substitutions for vegetarian, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, nut-free, which it's already nut-free and vegetarian apparently. Um, so, and the strawberry syrup is all of the above. So here we have, I believe that word is leaveners, right? Right? <laughs> Make fizzing leaveners. Test the power of basic baking ingredients. Um, so it's a little experiment here because KiwiCo is great with the whole sciency stuff. Um, so for this, there's nothing included in the box that would complete this here. You have to have your two glasses, measuring spoons, and a spoon for stir stirring. Then you need baking powder, baking soda, vinegar, food coloring, and hot water. But it gives you all of the steps to follow to, to do this experiment, and then a little bit of information at the back here. Um, about different things, I'm assuming it have to do with baking soda and that sort of thing. Okay, play flipping flapjacks. Toss your way to pancake perfection. Flip a pancake in the air and catch it. Okay, so that's where we get this little bean bag pancake and these little kind of, I guess, face stickers, we'll call them. They're felt, sticky felts. Oh, look, I got it right, face stickers. <laughs> so it tells you what you get. You get a felt flapjack and face stickers, and you can design your own little face. Um, I would do a face on both sides, like, you know, heads and tails. Maybe do a mad face on the bottom or, you know, one side and happy face on the other. What you need is three pans of different sizes, spatula, timer, and optional pots. I think that's funny because this is six and up. So you figure your kids six and up should really like be able to be trusted with pots and pans. I don't know about every kid though. If they've seen Tangled, might not be a good idea. Um, <laughs> so it just talks about basic flipping, freestyle flipping and toss and play. So I don't know, maybe when my dad gets back, we will have him play a game of flip the pancake with the kids. <laughs> He would probably be funnier to watch than my own kids might might laugh and just shake their head at me. My dad would totally do this. And then we get our yummy zine about, again, I really think it's leaveners. Feel free to correct me. I don't care. Um, so we've got like this little story with ginger and barley. Restaurant, the baffling waffles. That could be tricky to say and get a lift with leavening, um, pillowy pancakes, light loaves, and cushy cakes. That's cool. I want to start making my own bread. I got um, a sourdough starter kit and 
I kept putting it off and I kept putting it off and then it was good because like I think you have to like feed it and take care of it like a baby and I obviously can't do that if I'm not at home I guess I could have brought it with me but I don't know that's weird so maybe I'll start that when I get home we'll see we'll see maybe that'll be a cook with me video and then we've got a chew on this section spice up your table conversation with tasty questions and satisfying answers that's fun I like to keep fruit in my house and my kids uh, they don't like making pancakes but when I make them they will dress them up with fruit um, and sometimes with whipped cream so in France we have the crepe in Venezuela we have Chapas. I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna keep going with the words because we all know I'm not gonna say them right. Um, we've got this from Ethiopia, Australia, India, and China. So it's all different versions of a pancake. I kind of my favorite looking is this one. It looks it looks like an actual little cake. So like chunky little pancakes. Um, but I do like crepes. Crepes are good. Chef surprise, we've got the fill in the blank, and then all of the KiwiCo handles um, for social media. So yeah, there's that. I had wanted to bring all 12 months worth of subscription boxes with us. So I wanted to bring all 12 months worth of KiwiCo subscription boxes with us, but I ended up bringing a lot more work stuff. I brought more fabric and things to work on for my business. So we only ended up bringing three boxes, which is three subscriptions, three crates in each box. So I brought, I brought nine kiwi crates with us um but these look like something i could actually do in my grandma's kitchen so that'll be fun so the first little guy we got here these are all recipe cards the first one is fluffy pancakes it says medium difficulty i are pancakes medium difficulty i guess i guess i tend to burn some so maybe they are um so it gives you like the recipe for their batter. We at home, here's the ingredients. Um, at home, I like to buy crusties, but lately I feel like I just don't like the pancakes. Like they're not really fluffy, they're kind of dense. So I have been thinking about just starting to do them from scratch. Um, I'm a weirdo, I don't like frozen food, I don't, I'm okay with canned food. Frozen food for some reason bugs me and I don't love boxed food. I really like to make things from scratch. Um, so we might start, we'll try this while we're here and we'll see if we like it and if it's a good fluffy pancake recipe, we'll roll with it. Um, my daughter is constantly trying to get me to figure out how to make pancakes like you get at the really good um, cafes. Like, like we have where we live, we have a, a, a restaurant called Brentwood Cafe, and they make the fluffiest pancakes ever. They're really, really good. So the tools outside of the ones in your own kitchen that they recommend and that they have included is, I'm gonna go bottom to top, the squeeze bottle, which I'm assuming you squeeze out your pancake mix. They pour it out. What do they use the squeeze bottle for? I don't know. I don't know. It's not even on here to do anything with the squeeze bottle. They're saying pour it. That's how I do it. I just get like a cup. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, and then they've got the mini sifter here. I have a pampered chef. Um, it's like, I think they call it like a sugar shaker or cinnamon sugar shaker. I don't know, you're supposed to put cinnamon and sugar in it and then you shake it. Um, but it's like a cup and it has a lid so you can just let the uh, cinnamon sugar live there for a while. And then we've got these stencils. So you've got a 
a little smiley face. I don't, I think you can kind of see those. And then a star and kind of a swirly guy here. So that's fun. And you just take the stencil, you put one stencil down, you put some powdered sugar in, and then you tap um, on top of the stencil. And then you, it has these little handles, you know, in case you've been living under a rock and have never seen these before. <laughs> and you lift it straight up and don't twist it like I just did. And then uh, you get that cute little design on your, on your pancakes. I've never done that with pancakes. Uh, I've thought about doing it with like, cupcakes or brownies. I have done powdered sugar on brownies, um, but that's cute. That's cute. Oh, here you go. Here's, here's where you use the squeeze bottle. So it's saying you can customize your pancakes because if you put down like a drawing with this, like you squeeze out, this is like in the picture, it shows like a little funny looking cat face or star, whatever. Um, you make the design first and you let it go for this is two to three minutes and then you cover it with more batter and then you flip it then you'll get this kind of two-tone effect on your pancakes that seems like a lot of work for me <laughs> like i don't even do the the mouth shaped pancakes just because they just always look funny all right so fold your favorite flavors inside these thin pancakes. Uh, no baking powder, no problem. Okay, so they're saying these are whisper thin British pancakes. So they're not calling them crepes. Interesting. Uh, these are also a medium difficulty recipe, it says. Um, so you've got your ingredients, gathering your tools, and then your instructions here. Um, and they talk about it when you're done cooking them. So it doesn't look like the lemon actually goes into the batter. The lemon is kind of a finishing thing. Essentially, it kind of looks like a crepe. I'll have to look up a recipe for crepes and see how it compares um, to this. But I mean, it's the same thing. Like, look, you just you fill it with stuff. So they're saying you can fill it with turkey and melted cheese. That actually sounds kind of good. Chocolate and bananas. That's that's my language right there. Jam and whipped cream, cherry tomatoes and cream cheese. All of those sound really good. They sound like things that my kids would actually try. And then we have strawberry syrup. And I'm finding it interesting. This says that it is an easy recipe. Um, and that, I don't know, that... It says syrup, but the picture looks more like a loose jelly to me. Yeah, we'll see. Whatever. I like strawberries. I'm good. So, yeah, you just need strawberry sugar and water. So it's, it's definitely not going to be a jam or a jelly because you'd have to have uh, something that firms it up, which is fine. Um, you just kind of boil them down and then cool it off and and then you use it um oh here here's the ingredients and the tools that you need i just like regular strawberries on the pancakes but i guess we could try the their strawberry syrup and see how that goes i love boysenberry syrup I mean, I like, I, I, I love maple syrup, but boysenberry syrup was really good um, when we used to get that. So that is the Yummy Crate. And again, it is ages six and up from KiwiCo. And this is the Rise and Shine box. So there you have it. That is a one month subscription for our 12 months of KiwiCo. Uh, this was shipped out to us in October of 2022. Um, we are just now going through the boxes in May of 2023, but my kids are going through them like gangbusters um, now that I've canceled this, the subscription. <laughs> so maybe if they go through the whole year of boxes plus the extra ones that I bought, 
Um, maybe I'll resubscribe, but I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I've also been looking at some other, other things that are interesting. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if you are not already subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. It will let you know anytime there is new content or when I go live. I do go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific and sometimes I just pop in and do a live while I'm working or at least I will be soon. <laughs> um, you will also see in the description uh, that I have an email list. Feel free to jump on that email list um, and you can get coupons for my website. I do not sell anything that has to do with KiwiCo, uh, but I do make all kinds of different things. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time.